you wanted the Xperia Z4, you've got the Xperia M for Aqua, and we'll just leave it at that. I'm Anton Dinoy, and you're watching Pocket Now Sony Xperia M4 Aqua hands on at the 2015 MWC in Barcelona. Whether releasing a Z4 at this show would have been a good or bad thing, it's up to you to decide. Sony, however, considered that it was not time for the flagship, so we've got a phone that closely resembles the Z3. A mid-range device, which, according to Sony, brings all the cool features of the Z family to the lower class. Camera capabilities, two-day battery life, which of course is still a quote, and waterproofing. On the outside it looks a lot like the Z3, Z2, Z1, and so on, so you can instantly recognize the Sony signature design language. Some love it, some loathe its large bezels on the top and bottom. For us, it's a mixed bag between feeling right at home and the need for redecoration. This being a mid-ranger, Sony had to cut some corners, both on the outside as well as on the inside, despite company officials trying to sell it as a quote, no compromise phone. There are a couple of notable advancements as well, so let's take them one at a time. On the inside, some more corners had to be cut. Still, the company says the phone sets a new standard for mid-rangers. And that too is okay. This is Sony's first octa-core 64-bit smartphone running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. The SoC is being held by 2 GB of RAM, which is plenty for a mid-ranger. Internal storage is capped at 8 or 16 gigs, depending on which region and model you get, both of which are expandable via microSD card with additional 32 gigs. The screen is a 5-inch panel with HD resolution of 720 by 1280 and the camera on the back is a 13-megapixel shooter powered by Sony's own Exmor RS chip with an aperture of f2.0 and ISO ratings of 3200. The front facer allows you to snap 5-megapixel selfies and Android 5.0 Lollipop ensures you're up to date, something which Z3 owners are still waiting for. The 2400 mAh battery should be enough for two days according to Sony, but we'll of course have to wait and see for ourselves once we get this baby in our labs. The other feature inherited from the flagship is the waterproof build. The Xperia M4 Aqua is rated IP65 and IP68 for water and dust resistance, so you can be as active as you want while using it. We of course had to test this out. And we also had to play around with Lollipop, coming out of the box on the M4 Aqua. Together with Sony's own custom user interface, it was as snappy as ever, with the signature apps like Walkman and Album as beautiful and fluid as ever. Sadly, the unit had no internet connection and we couldn't check out the PlayStation app, but that, and more in-depth testing, will have to wait until our full review, which we're hoping to get to you shortly on Pocket Now. Until then, please give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and follow us on social media and our main hub at pocketnow.com to never miss a beat. I've been Anton Dinod, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.